something like living a simple life. Something about those aches and pains from working on the farm. Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Look at this mess, man. This is, uh, I built these workbenches a couple years back. Really not, not that many years ago, maybe five years ago. But being in the automotive industry, <clears throat> they get dirty pretty fast. And you, know, you can wipe them down, but then when you touch the boards, you can see you get dirty no matter what. So I've been kind of trying to figure out what to do about that. Of course, in an automotive workshop, this would be a steel top. And so, you know, I kind of figured that was outside of my price range forever, but that's something I had dreamed about. Well, check it out. I'll show you what's going on today. Hey, look at that. It is a steel top. So I was able to cover these with a thin steel skin. And this is normally something I probably would not be able to afford to do. But I came across this sheet here. It was 10 foot by 41, I think, or 40 and a half. So a pretty decent size sheet, not extremely thick, as you can see, something I can easily cut, but there we go. And uh, I'll show you how I ended up with it. My wife works at a big box store and she was able to come up with this. This was somebody ordered this. I think it's 41.25 by 10 galvanized flat. And it was a return you can see it was originally $54. It was $49.47. Yeah, well, we didn't pay that because nobody wanted it. It was kind of an unusual uh, size or an unusual need. So it sat there at the Lowe's until they put it on those, you know, get it out of my property sales. My wife picked it up for five bucks. So for five dollars, you know, I felt like that was a great way of doing it. And even though it's not enough to do it exactly the way I wanted to do it, I'm going to cut this piece right here. And then I'm going to have to use those. I'm going to have to cut them in half and finish that back table. But when it's done, holy cow, it's so much easier to be able to clean a surface like this than it is to try to clean uh, wood, which you just can't. You just can't clean it. You just can't. No matter how much I wipe this thing down, it's embedded into the wood. Where on metal like this, yeah, oil and stuff, well, it won't soak in, so it might drip off. That's all right. But you could just take a towel and some brake cleaner and clean this stuff up. So it's not a very long video, but it's one I wanted to make because that's just kind of just kind of something cool. And so, you know, again, like we talk about this all the time on the channel, if you're going to be poor, you got to be smart about it. And so this is like, hey, here's an item that if you ever see, grab it. And so we waited, waited years. But it finally came up, and so I'm finally able to do that. It'll make things a lot easier. I wish I'd had it at the beginning of summer, of course, but yeah, we take what we can get. I guess that'll do it. It's, like I said, not a long video, but something I wanted to share with y'all. If you have a wood workbench and it's disgusting like this, we'll keep an eye out for basically what I would call flashing thickness. It's, it's about the thickness of flashing, so it's not that hard to work with. And, uh, and you, too, can have a steel tabletop. <laughs> Till next time, my friends. Take care.